This video was made possible by you. If you want to save time and support what I do, check the link in the description that will take you to my store where you can purchase the source file for what we're creating in this video, as well as other tutorials on my channel. Thank you for your support and let's get back to the video. Welcome back to the mobile app design series. In this video, we're going to start building a micro interaction of a send email, send a message button. And since this tutorial is probably going to span multiple videos, I was hoping that in this video, I'm going to show you the overall idea. I'm going to think about the structure and all the states that we need to create for our interactive component. And I think I'm going to take a similar approach to whatever we did with the add to cart button, meaning Let's just start brainstorming and let's see where this takes us. So the overall idea that I have is that we're going to have some kind of a button for sending a message, for sending an email maybe. So let me just duplicate an instance of, create an instance of the button. What I'm thinking, right, is that we could have like a send text on the left side and then on the right side we could get an envelope. So if I were to just very quickly create this envelope, it's going to look something like this, right? And then we're going to get, let me grab my pen tool and just do just very, very quickly, a very rough sketch of the envelope. And I think this could be like in the background. So let me just actually break this component and let's not make it an auto layout anymore. So I'm thinking there could be like an envelope on the right side and then we would also get whatever we're actually writing, quote unquote writing. So we could get by default something like this. We could get something like this, right? We could get basically a document on the left side that is being written, something like that like a simple rectangle with lines. Again, please excuse my very rough sketches. I'm we're definitely going to be finalizing this. That's going to be the first state of the animation of the overall interaction, right? I think this icon potentially could be more elaborate. It could be more like visually appealing, not just a simple line icon like what we have here with the art to cart interaction. And of course, by the way, after we finalize all of this, I'm going to add this to our mobile app design system and you can download this source, the source file for all this from my store. And for those of you who are impatient, the source file on the store is already going to contain the finished project. For those of you who want to see how this is done, let's continue. So we would get like more elaborate icon and when the user clicks the button, we would get some kind of an action. And I'm thinking that the action could be this. First of all, this document could basically hover, fly outside of the outside of the frame. And then in another state, as the animation continues, it would then pack itself into the envelope. So it would be like behind the envelope, move inside the envelope. Let me do some kind of an effect. So it would, it would go inside and then ultimately it would go all the way down, probably like this. I think that we want to make the icon visible inside after it's done flying in. And what would happen afterwards is basically the envelope would close somehow. I don't know yet how exactly, but we would get some kind of a shape transformation. But yeah, overall we would get, this would happen, right? You can see what's, what could happen. It would close. And then after it's closed, the envelope would fly out, right? I cannot show the motion very well. But let me just do clip content. It would just fly outside somewhere. This is just me trying to simulate the motion, right? It would it would just fly out like this. By the way, if you ever want to simulate motion in your static visuals, like what I was trying to do here, you can use the great you can use a gradient, right? You can use a gradient that goes from full visibility 
to zero visibility in terms of the colors. So that's a good tip, I think. As you can see, this now looks as if it's moving, even though it's completely static. But nevertheless, it would fly out. And as it's flying out, the send text would move closer to the center. And let me continue. Let me continue with the animation. And when it's completely out, it would end up somewhere around here. And it would say like sent, sent. And then what I'm thinking is we could again do something similar to what we did here. So let me just copy this. Let me just copy, actually, let me copy this, right? Copy this. After it's done, we could get something like this. Again, a confirmation of what just happened. And now I'm gonna probably also copy the gradient just to show you what I have in mind. Yeah, basically this, right? So basically it's gonna be very similar to what we did with the add to cart interaction, although this one's gonna be a bit more complicated. So I hope you're excited about this because I am as I'm preparing this. This could look really cool. I think this could be super engaging. And I think if I ever saw this in an app, I would be delighted to be honest if we actually manage to make it work as I want to. So why don't we try and map the states? So since all this, since this whole thing is gonna be an interactive component and it's gonna be an animated interactive component, um, here are the states that I think it should have. I'm sure I'm gonna forget about some of them, but let's just start somewhere. First one would be of course default, right? That would be the default state, nothing happens, you are writing your message and then as soon as the user clicks this you would get like a letter is up so letter is up and there will be another state and then the two two of these actually now that i look at it this is going to be one state or rather this is going to be one state this is going to be another state and this is basically something like what's in between just for you to for me to show you what I had in mind. So this one is going to be letter is inside the envelope, letter is inside the envelope. And then this one's gonna be actually, that's going to be no state, just middle of the animation. This is gonna be no state. All right, so perfect. Then, from letter is inside the envelope, we're gonna get another state. Somehow we're gonna animate and we're gonna arrive at the envelope is closed. Envelope is closed, right? So the envelope is closed, it's ready to be sent. And then another state is gonna be envelope is well sent, right? Envelope is sent, has flown away, right? It's going to be another state and something similar here. So again, this is going to be no state. This is just the middle of the animation. Whoops. Middle of the animation. Similar situation to this, I realized. And then we're going to have another state and that's going to be action is confirmed. Action is confirmed. We got a check mark. And now that I look at it, actually, I think these two could actually be one state. So rather than this, I think we're gonna just get this again, right? We're gonna move from this state directly to this one. Let me do that again, whoops. We're gonna move from this state directly to this one because it's not needed essentially. All right, so it looks like we're gonna get what? One, two, three, four, five states of this interactive component, it appears. And similar to this logic for the add to card button, I think we could add also the hover state. So let's do hover. And I think the hover state could be similar to this one, to this letter is up state. And again, it could be if you take a look at the add to cart interaction, then the hover state is basically identical to this one. And it's just a bit lighter. Okay, so I think so. we're gonna get something similar here. 
So you can see that if you look at this, the structure and the overall idea of this is very similar to the add to cart button. But I just want to make the icon a bit more elaborate and I just think it's going to look cool. Yeah. So this is my overall idea. Let me just highlight this. So this is my send email micro interaction slash animation in Figma. And yeah, in the upcoming videos, we're going to be finalizing this. I think this is plenty for now. So again, for those of you who are impatient, just click the link in the description. You can get this final version of this in the source file. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you like the idea. I hope this makes sense. And mainly, I hope the final outcome is actually going to be worth it because this one is going to get rather complex. Let's hope for the best. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.